Okay. I gotta cover this bullshit because I was very curious about this term to begin with because it doesn't sound like it's an actual licensed profession or even that it requires a degree of any type and I'm very curious like how she got away with like deputizing women to further inflict abuse upon people. All right, let's see how this goes. In today's video, we're taking a deep dive into the mental fitness trainers of connections. I'm assuming if you've clicked on this video, you have some knowledge of Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrandt. Both Ruby and Jody were arrested and charged with six counts of aggravated child abuse on August 30th of 2023. I've made several videos covering this case. If you've missed any, go check out my Ruby Frankie eight passengers playlist. There's a wealth of information. Look at how dis disheveled she looks in that, um, look, you know, I look messed up sometimes too, and it's, um, quite frankly, because I'm on a medical leave, because I was bit by an attack dog while I was training a canvasser, but this chick does nothing but raise children and, uh, do family vlogs, right? So why does she look like she's fucking crying and has a snotty nose? Oh my god. In that playlist. Today we're focusing on the mental fitness trainers of connections. All of the mental fitness trainers and people training to be mental fitness trainers that are mentioned in this video have all made public content for connections. Wow. We're also talking about the president of connections who is Jody's long-term best friend and business partner. As I'm searching for information, what do you know? Jordan Page and Bubba Page pop up. I have so much to share with you today. Let's get started. Yeah, please tell me who they are because I've never heard of them before. And I'm very confused how these women got duped by this little fatty pie who was telling them to separate from their husbands who actually had dick and balls. I I'm totally aghast at how you walk away from your man of the house who's supposed to be protecting the house. Well, obviously she pointed out that they're weak. They're weak. If they were able to buy into this bullshit, they were weak. Right? But how do you then go to be like, yes, Jody, you are now my queen. You're my queen. I, I, I'm not getting it at all. I'm not getting it. In this video, Jody introduces the mental fitness trainers with connections and others who are learning to be mental fitness trainers. I mean, look at her. <laughs> look at her. I mean, it's not like it's not like you're presenting Angelina Jolie to me or something, or like, or like even like Caitlin. Uh, what's her name? Um, Kate, uh, uh, Kate McKinnon, that's her name, that's her name, like, there are other, like, um, potential lesbian choices that would be a bit more enticing to somebody who is actually heterosexual, or even on the cusp of being bisexual, and yet you've got this fatty pie. <laughs> This this is who you guys wanted to fall for. Okay. <laughs> there we are. Hi, we are live in mm. um, Mapleton, Utah. Look at at you, um, Jody. Uh, a home of somebody who is learning how to be a mental fitness trainer. And we have Ruby here. And <laughs> Ruby is is a part of the original 10 women that are being trained to become mental fitness trainers. Mental Fitness for Beginners is an online masterclass. Per the Connections Classroom website, this is Jody Hildebrandt's best-selling course. It's a six-week online program that includes videos and a monthly mentorship, and it's $200. So, Ruby, you want to tell us about what a mental fitness trainer is? Yes. So, we are getting mm -hmm. mentally fit the same way your body would get physically fit by running and lifting weights and working with a personal trainer. We are getting ready to be your mental fitness trainer. It sounds like they're getting yeah. ready to brainwash people. Yeah. We're getting truth, really easy to teach. We're, we're making it very simple, boiling it down. 
She looks super happy too, right? Like that's not a forced smile. <laughs> that's not a forced smile. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, the two of them. Um sit I mean, she gave up Kevin. I don't know what was going on with Kevin that was so bad that she decided to get together here with Fatty Pie here, but okay. All right, okay, girlfriend, let's see what happens. Down to principles, that's how you're going to understand truth, is really knowing principles, being able to put words to it, and help you, and you're gonna feel so much better. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna really? span over here. We've got, uh, oh, I can't see. There we go, <laughs> Tori and Sherry. Let's talk about Tori first. I went over to Venmo, and I searched for connections profile. Under the connection profile, you can view anyone who has paid connections using Venmo. Tori paid connections back in 2020. I also used Google to search for Tori in Utah. Nothing comes up. I did find her Instagram account and it's private. Connections coaching on Instagram follows Tori. How are you feeling about what you're, what you're uh, getting ready to go out and do? Teaching truth to the world. Excited. So excited. Excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is Sherry, and I've been unable to find any information on Sherry. Yeah. Coming to a town near you. And here's Kim and Jess. This is Kim and Jess. The only thing I could find on Kim... I can practically smell the Ben Gay in the room. Oh, my God, even with these people. Um, is a Kimberly Sharp paid connections on Venmo back in August of 2020. I'm not 100% sure this is the same Kim, but I wanted to mention this because I did find it on the connections Venmo account. And I haven't been able to find any information on Jess. Hello. Becky, Liz, Michelle. I went over to Venmo and I didn't find a Becky, but I found a Rebecca McNary paid connections several times back in 2019. I do not think Rebecca McNary and Becky sitting on this couch is the same person. This is Rebecca McNary and I do not believe she is one of the mental fitness trainers in this room at this moment. She graduated with her master's degree in social work from Utah Valley University in 2020. In one of Rebecca's payments to connections, she makes a note. It says, 50 books for chain breakers on Tuesday night through Becky Berry. So I believe this could be Becky Berry sitting on the couch. This is Becky Berry's Instagram account. It's private. But what's interesting is Sherry Frankie follows Becky. So I think there's a good possibility this is Becky Berry sitting on the couch. At this time, I don't have any information on Liz, but I found a news article about Michelle Bradley. This article was written by KSL.com. They didn't include any pictures. So I cannot 100% say this is Michelle Bradley. But putting all the pieces together, it makes sense. This could be Michelle Bradley. KSL writes, I get to offer hope. Utah Businesswoman offers mental health support during time of crisis. Michelle Bradley started... Why? Why? I mean, why do these people think that without being licensed therapists that they can administer therapy to the people around them? This is the weirdest ass thing to me that this was going down and that the Mormon church supported it. They still haven't said anything about it. It's a huge scandal. It's all over live stream news at least. I think it's over mainstream news too at this point. So I, I'm just curious, like how did you allow this um, cult to get as far as it did? Because this is, this is, you can't just have people going out into the community practicing therapy without credentials. Like, what the hell? I mean, I, I don't go out, like, I, I mentor people all the time. But I don't purport myself, I don't, like, try and say, hey, by the way, I'm a licensed professional. I don't say that. I say, you know what? I have some experience in politics. If you have some questions, I can help you out to the best of my abilities. But, like, I'm not going to um, say that I, you know, I can, like, counsel you in how you need to act and behave in certain situations. I can't do that for you. 
I can just tell you what I know about the political community and about the um, business community that is involved in uh, writing um, proposals, right? Because these are the areas of expertise that I have. Um, and I actually do have a goddamn resume and a degree. But what the fuck <laughs> with this bullshit? Experiencing depression 16 years ago after the birth of her first child. The illness worsened after the births of her next two children. She tried every treatment she could think of, but after brief periods of respite, it would return to darken her life. Her husband had a co-worker whose wife had experienced similar issues with mental illness, but she found a program that gave her the tools to improve. It was called Connections. Mm. Desperate, Bradley decided to try it. Now, over a year later, Bradley's mental health has improved dramatically. The program's courses helped her reframe many of the issues in her life and realize and accept things that were out of her control, including her family's thoughts, feelings, and actions. There's a connection to Michelle Bradley and the next person Jody introduces. Notice how she likes to stand behind Jody. I mean, Jody likes to stand behind Ruby because it's a forced perspective. <laughs> It's a forced perspective, you guys, because um, um, Jody is a larger woman, right? So by standing behind Ruby, it makes Ruby appear slightly larger because of the forced pers perspective. <laughs> Can't even with this, <laughs> like. I, how do you look at pictures of her and be like, oh, yes, uh, I totally understand why, like, I decided to become a lesbian for her. <laughs> Come on. And we got, we got Johnny over there. Johnny. And, <laughs> and Johnny. <laughs> and Johnny. <laughs> the news article written by KSL.com I just read about Michelle Bradley also mentions Johnny. Connections in the office. Connections member and homey CEO Johnny Hanna is a longtime advocate of prioritizing mental health in business. Homie? I had no idea. I didn't actually even really have job prospects out of college. I had a, a best friend that I grew up with in Montana that was entering the BYU business plan competition and asked me to help uh, write the business plan and do a lot of the research. So I did that as my senior year project. And then uh, we entered the business plan competition. We won. So they gave us some money to get going. So that was, it all just kind of happened. I never looked at myself of even moving to Utah. After seeing the program worked wonders with his marriage and personal life, he considered how the program could help ease conflict and communication Holy. within his business and worked with Connections to roll out the program to his employees. This news article was written back in 2020 and Johnny left homie in 2022. I am shocked to hear that he rolled the teachings of Connections into his business. Wow. The article goes on to say, he said he has seen incredible improvement in working relationships among his employees as the program has helped them understand to consider problems from a different perspective and communicate effectively. Mormon influencers Jordan and Bubba Page are affiliated with Homie. Bubba's LinkedIn account says he's an angel investor for Homie from February of 2019 until present. I pulled the screenshot from Bubba's LinkedIn this morning, so it is current. Back in 2020, Jordan did a post advertising about Homie on her blog. Now remember, back in 2020, that's when KSL wrote the article about Johnny Hanna. Bubba was also an angel investor for Homie at that time. And Johnny was pushing the connections, teachings, and language on all Homie employees at that time. Jordan's blog post says, we're selling our dream home. Why are I'm sorry, how is this um, even, like, legal or acceptable to push this type of religious-based, which it is, because she was um, subsidized by the Mormon church, um, teaching that is breaking people apart, teaching people to demonize men, which, you know what, which is an interesting argument, because... For the last few years, that's been more and more of a complaint, is that white men feel like they're being attacked. 
Well, it looks like you are. You are being attacked. You're being attacked by Jody Hildebrandt and the Mormon Church. So that's on you. Because, you know what? It wasn't um, any of these neighborhoods of color that were coming after you. It was the Mormon Church and Jody Hildebrandt. <laughs> Good job, white dudes. Are you using Homey? Is it sponsored? Jordan said, nope, not sponsored. Homey charges a flat rate instead of commission, and we need every dime to put into repairs and updates on the new house. So we opted for Homey. Get historic savings store-wide. Homey for the savings. We have been super happy with the process, and we love both our buying agent and selling agent. We used Homey to sell our rental home a few years ago and decided to do it again. Highly recommend it. So Jordan says this post wasn't sponsored, but she did not disclose that her husband is an angel investor for Homie. That's a little deceiving if you want my opinion. Yeah. Johnny and his wife Paige made a lot of content for Connections. I want you to hear a little bit of what he has to say about Connections, so let's hear what he has to say. Our marriage has improved more because I've improved. I, I think these principles, I've been able to focus on me and and look inward, you know, look in the mirror instead of, you know, trying to focus on her and, and blame her for whatever I'm feeling or whatever I'm thinking. So it's been, um, it's been life changing. The, the entire point of the, of her teachings is that the men are at fault for everything. Y'all at fault for everything. So while, while she separates the men into one room and tells them that they're at fault for everything, she funnels the women into another room and says, you know, your dudes are in, um, they are responsible for everything that's wrong in your lives right now because they are porn addicted. They are, um, uh, you know, just doing all of these horrible things that are, um, causing chaos in your lives. And so they need to repent and leave and go away for a long period of time and then come back and you got to sleep in separate bedrooms. And it's, it, I mean, she's, I would like to see the stats on her results. How many couples broke up because of her teachings? For me. And, you know, I think this is why we invited some of our friends on, on Facebook as well. You know, we just, we know we're putting ourselves out there a little bit with a, a topic on love and lust, you know, in marriage. But I think, I think um, it, it's something that should be talked about. And especially as couples, I think we need to have more, more open discussion. You know, my concern is that, you know, so many people are still getting divorced. You know, we've had so many friends and family members get divorced and, and I think the wrong things are being discussed, the wrong things are being focused on. And, and I know, you know, with us in particular, what we've learned through connections has helped up bring us together. Really? I'm shocked to hear this actually, because I've never heard anything positive about Jody or connections from a man. This is not a current video. It was posted a while ago. I would be so interested to hear from Johnny current day. I wonder if he still agrees with the teachings, if he's still on board with connections. I would love for him to make a public statement. To my knowledge, no one affiliated with connections or Jody has spoken out or given a public statement since the arrest of Jody and Ruby. Right. Hey. And there's Paige. <laughs> Paige is Johnny's wife. She looks different because her hair's up. She doesn't have makeup on. Johnny is our um, our our uh, male uh, person who comes in and does the role play for the male, so we can practice. <laughs> As you can see, Paige was in the kitchen, probably preparing snacks or whatever for everybody. And Johnny and Paige actually live in Mableton, so I'm pretty sure they were at Johnny and Paige's house while filming this video. So he's a. Uh... He's quite talented to uh, do the role plays with us, so we appreciate Johnny. Johnny's a man of truth as well, and he's also a mental fitness trainer. Next, Jody introduces Pam. Pam is Jody's longtime friend, longtime business partner. Pam? Nope, Pam's over here. Pam. Hello? 
Pam Botcher is listed on the Connections website as the president of Connections Foundation. She has a degree in interpersonal communication. She's a mother of seven, grandmother of 14. And Jody's niece, Jessie Hildebrandt, actually spoke about Pam during an interview. Let's hear what she has to say about Pam. I asked Jessie if she knew Pam during her time living with Jody. Pam Botcher, when I was living with Jody, Pam Botcher was around. She was Jody's like best friend. And I didn't realize that she was connected in this. I mean, I have very strong feelings towards Pam because of not not that she was directly um, um, applying a be like just she wasn't like actually involved, but she was one of the people that was like constantly surveilling, like they're like at the surveillance of like reporting back to Jody. She was always at the house just because she was friends with Jody, so it's sometimes a little murky. But wow, that's very disappointing and i'm so i'm wondering why she's not being um why they're not talking about her exactly i think we should talk about pam we should talk about everybody involved with connections at this time we really don't know how this all fits together new information comes out about this story almost daily who knew what was going on in jody's house did other people know did pam know what was happening to those kids in that house if she's jody's best friend Longtime business partner and longtime best friend. I would assume she knew something was going on. I don't have any evidence to back up this theory. This is just my opinion. I tried reaching out to Pam a number of times via call and text and haven't heard back. So, so glad that you're uh, with us. And any of you who are interested in becoming a mental fitness trainer, we are going to open that up. Uh, to train other people. So give us a call or email us at support at connectionsclassroom.com and uh, maybe you can come to the next. I'm sorry, how do you, um, what are you doing? How are you accrediting and credentialing these people as mental fitness trainers? What are you doing? This woman is so crazy, I can't even, like, the, we're talking about mental health. We're talking about people's mental health. And um, she's like, oh, yeah, I can just, like, anybody that I come across, I can make them into one of my, one of my sergeants, you know, one of my soldiers. You can't just have everybody treating everybody. Like, that's not how it works. Like, you have to be educated in the field. You have to be licensed. Um, so like, oh yeah, well, you know, I have this thing and you can just like probably pay me like $2,000 and I'll make you, you know, a soldier in my weaponry. I hope this woman gets locked up forever. This is so crazy that she did this. Next, a retreat for the... Come work out with us. That's right, come work out. Put you to work. Bye. Mm. I hope people start digging into this a little more. KUTV has Pam's phone number. They said they reached out to her. She has not responded. At the time this video is being filmed, September 28th, 2023, there's no proof or evidence that anyone in this video has committed a crime. If you have additional information... By the, by the way, that's today. That's today. And um, both Jody and Ruby have been held on no bail since, I think, August 30th. So, yeah, they haven't been convicted of a crime yet. But that's because um, what they did was so dangerous that it needs to go to trial. And their defense attorneys need more time to process all the evidence. So it's not like you can be like, mm, innocent before proven guilty. No. These people are suspected of doing something so terrible that they are being held on no bond. And there are no court dates on the calendar currently, as far as the, the last I saw. Um... And that's because their own defense attorneys cannot get through all of the evidence against them. 
information on anyone mentioned in this video, leave a comment or you can send me a private DM on Instagram at YouTuber Headlines. What are your thoughts on today's video? What do you think about the mental fitness trainers? Leave a comment. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. See you next time.